Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. I'd like to talk about how I can protect cells in uh, a worksheet so that you only make available the cells that you select so that uh, users cannot add information or data in other cells. So what I'm going to do is to type a couple of um, labels here, name, age and telephone extension. What I want to do is to only allow, for example, these cells here to receive information. Obviously you can select as many cells as you wish and you can do that by, if you want, clicking on the column headings up here. And we're looking at Excel 2013. For the sake of this uh, example, we'll just say that these are the cells that I want to enable people to enter data into and all the unselected cells are unavailable. The first step is to click on this little arrow here and then click on protection. So at this stage it's very very similar to, to the uh, previous versions of Excel. Then I take the tick out of locked and choose OK. Then I go to the review tab and I'll click protect sheet. That protects this particular sheet. Up pops a window and uh, it's not a bad idea to uh, enter a password. Uh, it will make the password password or lowercase in this case. And then I tick the, take the tick out of select lock cells. Then I click OK. I'll be asked to re-enter the password. Password again all in lowercase and click OK. Now I can add uh, names here. Uh, Tom, we'll say uh, he's 45. His telephone extension is 123. Another one, Mary. She is 34 and her extension is 345. If I try to enter information in cells out here, outside of the area, I can't do it. Excel will not allow me to make active cells which I did not select before I issued the protection. Now what I'm going to do is uh, to click unprotect sheet. If I click unprotect sheet I'll be asked to enter the password so that if I do not know the password I cannot unprotect the sheet. I cannot make changes to cells other than those which were protected. So let's do that. Password because I want to make some other changes for example. Click OK. Now the other cells are available. So I have to go back and protect the sheet. We'll enter a password again. Same password. Ticks out of select lock cells. OK. Re-enter the password. Don't forget the password as it says it cannot be recovered without great expense. Click OK and now I find that I cannot, I'm clicking here, I cannot make any changes to cells other than those protected. Harry will say is 50 and his extension is 321. I selected these cells down around about here. I didn't go down that far, but I did go that far. I went to these cells down to A17 and across to C17 in the cells that I selected. Now what I'm going to do is to protect the workbook. It keeps others, as the tooltip says, from making structural changes to the workbook such as moving, deleting or adding sheets. So now I'm going to protect the workbook. And I'll protect the workbook for structure. I won't bother about a password in this case, but I'll click OK. Now if I try to add a sheet, I'm clicking down here, I cannot do so. So that's uh, how we protect 
cells in sheets and just to show you which cells are protected I'll click back here in A1 can't do it because I protected the workbook so I'll now click protect workbook again cancel that here we go I can make changes down here and just to show you uh, what is protected in terms of the cells I'll hold down the tab key and there are the cells that are protected. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope you learnt, uh, learnt this. It's uh, very, very useful to stop others making changes in your files. Thanks for watching.